Awesome. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let's start seated. Sukhasana, easy seat. So ankles in front, cross-legged. And then taking a moment, closing the eyes, finding your sit bones, maybe walking your seat back a little bit. You can take your hands on your knees, palms facing down. We'll create a little bit of grounding energy, palms facing up so they're more receptive. So tune in with yourself, see what feels good today. And just landing your attention onto your breath. You don't have to do anything to it. Just perhaps trace it up and down the spine as you start to cultivate Fire up your ujjayi breath, which will help define your samariti, which means equal rotations, equal fluctuation, so equal inhales and exhales. Let's see if we can keep that throughout the rest of the next hour. Brief bypass from that, take a deep inhale through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. Take that twice more deep. Inhale to the bottom of your belly. And then sigh it out. One more round deep. Inhale, take your time. Expand the lungs. And then sigh it out. And sealing the lips. Back to Ujjayi, open up the eyes. And take your left hand behind the sacrum. I like to come on tended fingers. Take your right hand onto the left knee for a gentle twist here. Notice like this makes your shoulders scrunch up to your ears. Can you release them down by imagining the bottom tips of your shoulder blades and you just pull it down the back. So gentle ease, twist. Take another breath. Inhale, create a little bit more space. Exhale, a little more depth. And then on the next inhale, take the left arm across over the right onto the right knee. You might have to use your fingertips to find the kneecap. And then on exhale, round in the spine, pulling a little bit of a protraction between the shoulder blades, pulling that area open. One more breath. You pull a little bit harder, gently. And then keep the arms as they are, just release the knees, come up, and then your left arm is over your right, eagle wrap the wrists. And then inhale, let the elbows come about as high as the shoulders, and then relax your shoulders downward. So you're pulling the elbows up, and you're pulling the shoulders down. So opposite up the dynamics here, helping to open up the shoulders. Take another breath. And then gently release. Take the right hand behind you, tend the fingertips. Take the left hand on the right knee, gentle, easy twist. Inhale, lengthen space. Exhale, go bit deeper. One more pulse. Inhale, a bit of space. Exhale, depth. The next inhale, take that right arm over the left onto the left knee. And then finding the kneecaps, exhale, round, round, round. You can maybe tuck the tailbone on, underneath a little bit, slightly tuck the chin and find that rounding cat spine here. Next inhale, release the kneecaps, keep the arms where they are, eagle wrap right over left, maybe wrap the wrist. And then here again, opposite pull, inhale, lift the elbows up, pull the shoulder blades down, soften your face, soften your jaw. One more breath, slightly knit the ribs in, don't stick the rib cage out. And then exhale, release. Come on to all fours, coming over the shins, finding a tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders. Bending the fingertips out nice and wide. We'll find a classic cat cow here. Inhale, belly drops 
Lean the collarbones forward, find that arc, tailbone rises, exhale, round in the spine, cat, let the crown of the head drip down. Inhale, belly drops, tail feather rises, pull the shoulder blades back. And then on exhale, round, press, press the thoracic to the ceiling, almost aggressively press the earth away. One more pulse, inhale, find your cow spine. Exhale, round, cat spine, let the crown of the head drip. Inhale, back to neutral tabletop, keep the hips over the knees and walk your hands forward into Anahatasana. So coming onto the forearms, you can rest your forehead on the mats. Or maybe if you feel like a little bit more space, you can tuck the chin forward, gently ease onto your chest. This should feel great in the shoulders, this is like your down dog, but on the forearms, so taking any and all pressure out of the wrists. Take another two breaths here, notice if the big toes are coming together, if you parallel the shins, like the number 11. Pull your tailbone to the back of the skull. One more breath. And on the inhale, slide forward onto your belly. Find a brief sphinx pose on the inhale. And then tempt the fingers on the outside of your mat, elbows to the sky. Make one big fish tail with your legs. Inhale, come up through wide arm cobra, pressing into the fingertips. Exhale, right ear to the ground, look to your left. Let that right shoulder come down to the ground. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, left ear to the ground, look to your right. Let the left shoulder now come down to feel great. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, right ear down. So when I say that feels great, it's a big shoulder opener, so releasing that right shoulder down now. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, left ear down, look to your right. You can release the left shoulder a little bit more down to the mat. Inhale up through center, one more pulse each side, exhale right ear down, two left. Inhale come up, and then exhale left ear down, awesome. Inhale come up through center, exhale, take the forehead to the mat, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale come up through a low high curve or perhaps upward facing dog. And exhale, pull it back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out through the feet. Or sway your hips side to side a little bit. Finding some movement. Straight arms, slide micro bend in the knees. Find your fingertips here, slight cupping underneath the hands. And yes, you can work on releasing the heels down to the mat. You have to lock out your knees in order to do so. I kindly ask you to keep that slight micro bend. It doesn't have to be noticeable with the naked eye. We don't want to lock out the knees. Because if you lock out the knees, we lock out the pelvis. And then we lock out or disable any movement in the spine. And this pose is all about lengthening, strengthening the spine. Awesome. On the next exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet at the back of your mat. Find a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, take a flat back halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, our Uttanasana, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. One more pulse. Inhale, flat back. Pull your sit bones away from each other. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the feet. Rise all the way up. Forward balance that snap, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And hold onto your right wrist with your left hand. Press into your right foot. Inhale, find length to the ceiling. And then exhale, take a dip to your left. Maybe you can let that left ear rest on the left bicep, keeping both arms straight. Inhale, find a little bit more length. 
Exhale, a little bit more depth. Keep pressing into that right foot. One more pulse. Inhale, length. Exhale, a little bit more depth. You know, come back up to your center. Here's your core. Switch hands. Right hand to the left wrist. Find a little bit more length as you reach up. Exhale, dip to your right. Press into the left foot. So we're opening up the entire left side of the body from the left foot, pinky side edge, all the way to the left fingertips. Inhale, more length. Exhale, a little more depth. One more pulse, inhale length, exhale depth. Inhale, use your core, come back up through center, reach the fingers up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk yourself forward into a plank pose. Take your time. And then inhale, press back up into your downward facing dog. Gonna work on all that side waist opening. Walk your feet about a footprint in, separate the feet the wider than inner hips width apart. Look forward, take your left hand to center line. And take your right hand to the left calf or ankle forward twist here. Peeking underneath the left armpit, pressing into the left hand. Continue to release the right heel down to the mat. So keep the hips level, take another breath. Inhale back through center, release the right hand now down to center line. Exhale, left hand to the right calf or ankle. Find your twist. Nice. Now really aggressively send the front of the mat away from you with your right hand. Or you gently pull all that left hand, or pull with the left hand. You can slightly up amp up the aggressiveness with which you pull. Take another breath. Inhale, come back to your center, and step it back into your downward facing dog. Just gonna flush out the spine here. On the next inhale, ripple forward into your plank pose, crown the head, last thing to come forward. Exhale, pull it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank, undulate. Exhale, release the knees down, keep the toes tough, bend the elbows back as you drop your chest and chin in between your thumbs, Ashtangasana. Inhale, sliding forward onto your belly, on top of the toes, low cobra or high cobra. And then exhale, pull it back. Downward facing dog. Okay, let's do this. Opening sequence. Inhale, right leg rises, dog splits. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, cross body plank, shift it forward. Inhale, dog splits. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hips, stay here, or take a rock star, drop the ball of the foot behind you. Sweep the right arm overhead. You can keep the hips stacked or roll that right hip and shoulder a little bit more backward for the heart opening. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, right leg up. Dog split. Exhale, coil the right knee into the navel and then step the foot forward in between the hands. Lower as lunge. Come on, tend the fingers, beating the heart forward. Roll that left heel back. Exhale, lengthen through the right leg, modified pyramid pose, bowing. Inhale, we bend the right knee, look forward, drive into that right foot, and land into a standing split, taking the hand underneath the shoulders. Peek backwards. Notice if your hip is externally rotating. It's super tempting to do that because the leg can go super high that way, but it's not so good for the joint. So see, you can turn the left toes and kneecap downward and then lift the heel and see how high you can get. It's very humbling. But it's extremely good for the back of the body to strengthen here. And it's better for the joint. It's specifically better for the knee of the standing leg. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. From here, exhale, giant step back with that left foot. And inhale, sweep the arms up into a high crescent lunge. Find that 90 degree angle in the front thigh. 
Exhale, T-twist to your right. Flex the wrist. We're going to look at your back thumb. Inhale, so you can drop that right hand on the outside of the left knee, left thigh. As you seek the left arm overhead for a little bit of a back bend in the twist. Next, exhale, left hand comes down on the inside of the right foot. Reach the right arm up for a spinal twist. Press into the left hand, roll the right hip under. Inhale, circle the right hand to the back of your space. Draw the long, the long edge of your mat. Sweep both arms up, power lunge. Exhale, release the left heel down. Straighten to reverse warrior. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down for in front foot. Inhale, dog split. Right leg up. Exhale, draw both feet together. On the next inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, bend the elbows back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Take a moment. Enjoy the heart opener. Soften the glutes. Exhale, pull it back. Downward facing dog. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Next inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, take it across, cross body plank to the right elbow. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knees, stay here, opening up the hip or drip into the rock star. Sweep the left arm overhead. Stacking the hips, roll that left hip and shoulder back. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left leg up, dog splits. Exhale, coil the knee in, and then lightly step that left foot forward in between the hands, lower as lunge. Tend your fingers, beam your heart forward, drive the right heel back. Exhale, lengthen through the left leg, pull the hips back, modified pyramid. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, drive into the left foot, standing split, right leg up. Feel free to play with that idea, okay? What does it feel like if I externally rotate? Look at how high my leg comes, and then what happens when I turn the toes and maybe half down? Maybe check in, what, how does that feel on the knee of the standing leg? We want to preserve our joints here. So standing splits, turn the toes, and kneecap up the lift it leg downwards. Inhale, take a little bit of a flat back here. Exhale, giant step back with that right foot. Inhale, rise up, high crescent leg. And knit the ribs in, soften the glutes so you can melt the tailbone down. Exhale, T twist to your left. Keep your heart over your hips. Maybe look backwards. Inhale, left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Sweep the left right arm overhead for a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, right hand on the inside of the left foot. Reach up with the left arm, spinal twist. Roll the left hip under now. Press into that right hand. Inhale, circle the left hand to the back of your space. Draw both arms forward. Reach up, power lunge. Stay strong in the front thigh. And then release the right heel down 90 degree. Inhale, straight to a reverse. Warrior, sweep the left arm overhead. Exhale, cart with the hands down. Inhale, dog split. Left leg up. Exhale, draw both feet together, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward, rippling into your plank. Exhale, chatter on a nice and slowly. Inhale, up dog. Come to the tops of the feet, press into the index fingers and thumbs. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Let's flow through that twice more. Maybe we can come to one breath, one movement. Find that instinctual flow. Let's go. Inhale, dog split, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, and then keep extending the right leg out. Reach up with the left arm, fall in triangle. A little bit more beyond here from the fingertips to the right toes. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right leg up. 
dog splits. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Drip into your rock star, stay where you are. Open it up. Gorgeous. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, dog split, right leg up. Exhale, step that right foot forward in between the hands. Ten fingers. Inhale, beam the heart forward. Exhale, pull the back, lengthen through that right leg. Inhale, we bend the right knee, look forward. Exhale, land standing split. Left leg up, bowing in. Inhale, flat back, halfway up. Exhale, giant step back. Low runner's lunge, inhale, high lunge. Radiate all directions. Exhale, T twist. Look back at it. Inhale, take the right hand on the outs of the left thigh. Sweep the left arm overhead. Exhale, left hand on the inside of the right foot. Reach up with the right arm. Spinal twist. Inhale, circle the right hand down and back. Forward, power lunge, both arms up, strong in the front thigh. Release the left heel down, inhale straight into your reverse warrior, open it up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, dog split, right leg up. Exhale, join both feet together, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank, rippling, undulate. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep it flowing, stay with the breath. Inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. And then take it into your fallen triangle. Keep extending the leg out, sweep the right arm up. Lift the heart, hips, strong. Press into that left hand. Exhale, right hand down, inhale, left leg up, dog splits. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hips, stay here or take your rock star. Open it up. No earring of that right shoulder, strong in the right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, left leg up, dog splits. Exhale, coil the knee in, step the foot forward in between the hands. Inhale, tend the fingers, leap at the heart, look forward, drive the right heel back. Exhale, lengthen through the left leg, piling in. Inhale, rebend, look forward. Exhale, drive into the left foot, standing split, right leg up. Feet back, what's happening with the toes? Inhales, halfway up. Exhale, giant step back with that right leg. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, T-twist to your left. Stay with the breath, stay with the breath. Inhale, left hand on the outs of the right thigh. Reach up with the right arm, side waist opening. Exhale, right hand on the inside of the left foot. Reach up with the left hand, find your spinal twist. Inhale, circle the left hand to the back, draw the long, long edge of your mat, sweep both arms up, power lunge. Exhale, release the right heel down, stay strong in front of thigh. Inhale, reverse warrior, sweep the left arm overhead. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, join both feet together. Inhale, ripple it forward, shoulders coming over the wrists. Take your turn around back to up dog. Enjoy that space here for a moment. Exhale, down dog. Last round. Let's see if we can do one breath, one movement. Try not to think so much about it. Enjoy that instinctual flow. Inhale, dog split, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, fall on triangle, or keep your leg lifted. Kick through the heel, if so. Stay with it. Exhale, left hand down, right leg up. Inhale, dog splits. 
Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Stay here or take your rock star. Really roll the right hip and right shoulder back. A little back bend. Look at your top hand if you like. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, right leg up. Dog splits. Exhale, coil in the knee. And step that right foot forward to lower his lunge. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Drive the left heel back. Exhale, bow it in over that right shin. Modify pyramid. Inhale, rebend, look forward, exhale, drive into the right foot, let the left leg rise, standing splits. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, giant step back, low runner's lunge. Inhale, reach up, high crescent lunge. Stand your power, radiate. Exhale, T-twist to your right, keep your heart over your hips. Take the right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Reach up with the left hand. Exhale, left hand on the inside of the right foot. Reach up. Lift the right hand, spinal twist. Inhale, circle the right hand to the back of your space. Draw both arms forward as you sweep the arms forward. Power lunge. Exhale, release the left heel down. Stay low. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, take the hands down, frame the front foot. Inhale, dog split, right leg up. Exhale, draw the feet together. Inhale, coming forward, shoulders over the wrist, undulate. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Gently flipping onto the tops of the feet, open heart. Exhale, pull it back. Last side, inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow, fall on triangle, or keep it lifted. Reach up with the right hand. Fight for it, open up. Exhale, right hand down, left leg up. Dog split. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip, or take the rock star. Keep it open, maybe roll, roll, and left hip and shoulder way, way back. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left leg up, dog splits. Exhale, coil the knee in, and step the foot forward in between the hands. Inhale, tend the fingers, look forward, pull the right heel back. Exhale, bow it in as you lengthen through the left leg. Inhale, rebend, look forward. Exhale, drive into the left foot, standing split, right leg up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, giant step back with the right foot. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, T-twist to your left. Keep your heart right over your hips. Keep the left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Reach up with the right arm. A little bit of a back bend. Exhale, right hand down on the inside of the left foot. Reach up with the left hand. Spinal twist. Inhale, circle the left hand to the back. Draw the long lunge of your mat. Sweep both arms up. Find your core, your power lunge here. Strong in the front thigh. Release the right heel down, stay as you are. Inhale, sweep it back and over, reverse warrior. Exhale, curve the hands down, frame the front foot. Inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, draw both feet together, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple it forward, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, pull it back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. From here, bring your big toes to touch. Feet slightly forward. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, squat back. And then step or hop your feet to the outside of your hands, landing into Malasana squats. 
And let's rest here, hands to heart. Catch your breath here. After that, sequence your heart, maybe racing a little bit. So it may be a little bit easier to surrender in the pose. You might just be distracted by simply focusing on your breath. Soften the jaw, space between the eyebrows. You use a little bit of aggression, pressing the elbows against the inner knees to make sure they don't collapse inwards. But then if you want to intensify the hip opener, press back against the elbows with the inner knees and inner thighs. Releasing everything below the waistline elongating everything above the waistline. Take another breath. Awesome. And then gently release the hands down, lengthen through the legs, turn the toes in. Grab opposite elbows, side to side. Let the upper body be heavy here. Take a moment to relax. Crown of the head dripping down. And then release the hands down, inward heel, inhale, inward. Heel toe your feet underneath you, take a flat back, Ardhanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, or Bahastasana. Exhale, hands to heart, Tadasana, take your hands by your side. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Inhale, sweep the arms up, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, fierce pose, have a seat. So you can slightly curl the tailbone underneath you to get rid of the, any C spot, C curve in the low back. Lean your heart forward, lower your seat a little bit more. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right. Hook the left elbow to the outer right thigh. And slowly roll that right shoulder back. And I always right away have to peek in, check in with the left knee as it coming forward, peek pop that baby back. And lower your seat a little bit more. Take another breath. Soften in the jaw. Keeping the hips level. Help us from compromising the twists. Let's take another breath. And then gently release the hands down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, yogi's choice. Step back into plank, lower to chaturanga or hop back. Flowing through your vinyasa. Coming up, up dog. Exhale, pull it back, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, let the right leg rise. Exhale, coil the right knee and step the right foot forward in between the hands. Left foot a little bit to the left, then release the left heel down. Inhale, rise up. Vera one, warrior one. Drive that right shin forward to press into the pinky side edge of the back foot. Inhale, sweep the hands back. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, pull the hands down the back, open up the heart. Exhale, dive it down, humble warrior, devotional warrior. So you can peek at your back foot, maybe your navel. Be gentle with the shoulder opener here. Keep driving the right shin forward. You might have to heel to your back foot in a smidge. So you can continue to anchor through the pinky side edge of that foot. Nice. Roll the right hip underneath you. Try not to let the, knee, the hips lay out. And then gently release the hands down, frame the front foot, pivot on the ball of the back foot. Release the left knee down on top of the toes. Shiver the right foot a little bit forward and exhale, pull the hips back. Arhanasana half split, bowing. Maybe take a gentle pulse, inhale halfway up. Exhale forward, fold here too. Slight, slight micro bend in that right knee. You can really flex the right toes towards you. The harder you flex, the more stretch you feel. Take another breath. 
Inhale, we bend the right knee. Pull the right foot underneath you and heel toe the right foot to the right. Take your right hand where your right foot just was, supported lizard pose. Stay here. We'll take a little bit of variation to Radha Krishna twist with me. Circle the right arm back. And then bend the left knee, hold on to the feet beside the edge of the foot. My favorite things to do, we'll take a pulse here. So exhale, so you can take your forehead to your right foot, bowing in. And then on the inhale, roll it back. You can come onto the pinky side edge of the right foot. And then roll that left shoulder back. Twice more. Exhale, bowing in. Maybe you can touch your right foot with your forehead. Inhale, open it up. Roll the right shoulder back. One more time, exhale, bowing forward, bending your left elbow. Inhale, lengthen and open it up. And you can take that a little bit further by coming up to the left forearm and just stay here or take that again, left fore, sorry, forehead to the right foot and then inhale, roll it open. Exhale, forehead to the foot. Inhale, roll it open. One more time. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rolling that open. Nice. And gently release that back foot. Come into palms. Tuck the left toes, lengthen through the left leg. You can stay here in your high lizard for a moment. We're going to look at Kundanyasana too. Taking the right shoulder behind the right knee, take the hands underneath the shoulders. Come onto the ball of the right foot, shift your weight forward. Then bend the elbows back. Kick through, point through the toes. Take another breath, find the fingertips. And then let the left foot come down. Everybody, let's meet. A dog split, right leg up. Exhale, yogi's choice. One legged or regular chaturanga to up dog. Exhale, pull it back. Now we're facing dog. Take deep inhale through the nose. Exhale up through the mouth. And then on the inhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, take a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Forward back, stack, and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, bend the knees. We could pass and I have a seat. Exhale, hands to heart and twist to your left. Hooking the right elbow on the outside, the left thigh. Hands to heart center. Finding your hand placements. Maybe pop the right knee back if it came forward. So you can lower your seat a little bit more. Soften the face. Send the breath to the lower cage. Take another breath. And then gently release the hands down. Finding a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk your hands forward back into a plank pose. And then exhale, pull it back, downward facing down. Inhale, dog split, left leg up. Exhale, step that left foot forward in between the hands. And step the right foot a little bit to the right, release the right heel down. Inhale, come up. Warrior one, Vira Vidrasana one. So notice if your rib cage is coming outward, you can knit the ribs in and drop the tailbone down. Inhale, circle your hands down and back. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, pull hands down the back thigh, open up your heart to the ceiling. And then exhale, dive it forward fold over that left leg, humble warrior, devotional warrior. Again, maybe heel to that back foot in a smidge. Now notice if your seat is coming all the way out to the left in order to find the forward fold here, right? So you can pull the left hip underneath you 
and drive yourself back to the front of the mat. You send the left shin forward and then the arms come overhead, perhaps a little bit more, soften the toes of the front foot. Take another breath. And then gently release the hands down, frame the front foot, pivot on the ball of your back foot. And then release the right knee down on top of the toes. Shimmy the left foot a little bit forward. And then pull the hips back. Arahamanasana, half split, bowing in. Inhale, take a little bit of a pulse, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Another one if you like. Halfway up, marinating or pulsating. Really targeting the back of that left leg. Inhale, come back up. Pull the left leg underneath you. Heel to the left foot to the left. Lizard pose, Uttamprastasana. Stay here or circle the left arm back. You can stay here if this is a lot for you. Bend that right knee along the pinky side edge of the foot. And then feel free to hover here. Take that pulse with me. Take the forehead to the left foot, bending the right elbow. And then inhale, lengthen through the right arm. Open it up, roll that left shoulder back. Go to the pinky side edge of the left foot if that feels good. Exhale, bowing in. Inhale, roll it open. Exhale, bowing in forward. Inhale, rolling it open. And then taking that again or come onto the right forearm for a little bit more depth. Exhale, bowing in, maybe touch the left foot. Inhale, just roll it back. Let the right front of the leg, of the right leg, come down. Inhale, bow in. Sorry, exhale, bow in. Inhale, roll it open. One more pulse. Exhale, bow. Inhale, open the heart. Beam it up. And then gently release that back foot. No slingshot. Come back into palms. Tuck the right toes. Lengthen through the right leg. Stay here. Or take that left shoulder behind the left knee. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Come up to the ball of that left foot. Shift your weight forward. Bend the elbows back. Take your kundanyasana to a point through the toes. Find your fingertips. Take another breath. And let the right foot come down. Take a dog split. Left leg up. Yogi's choice. One legged. Regular chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, pull it back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale up in the mouth. And then inhale, slowly rippling forward. Exhale, lower onto the shins. Let's have a seat. I like to face the long edge of my mat. Let's start with Agni Stambhasana, left shin, leg at the bottom. If this is too much, you can take Sukhasana, so easy seat, cross-legged. Or take the right ankle on top of the left knee, right knee on top of the left ankle. So if this is a lot, you can take a block or a blanket, I have one here. You can take it underneath the right knee, a little bit of support, because this is a very deep, hip opener. It helps if you walk your sit bones back and then you'll find a little bit more space for the hips. When you look down you'll see a triangle. Inhale, find a long spine, root through the sit bones. And then exhale, tilting at the hips, finding a long spine, lead with the heart. So beam your heart forward and then slowly come down. So I love to pulse. So inhale with the breath, long spine. Exhale, slowly come over the legs. So Agni Stambhasana means fire log pose. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but also double pigeon because you're quite literally in a double pigeon. 
Also be double the intensity. So be nice, kind to yourself as you find, I really love that weight-like sensation. Inhale, find more length. We extend the heart forward and up, and then find a little bit of a cow, cat spine as you come down. And then you can relax there. Find your edge and breathe. And you feel like, oh, this is actually getting comfortable, or close to comfortable. Maybe there's a bit more space to explore, so inhale, find more length. Exhale, a little bit more depth. Softening the jaw, the forehead. Take another breath, send it all the way to the back of the rib cage. So sideways, even towards your sacrum. Imagine that you can breathe all the way down to your hips. Perhaps side to the mouth. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back. So we'll just draw our right, sorry, to step our left, I'm just messing the left and right up here. Right foot down to the mat and draw your left heel closer to your right seat. There you go. Finding our seated twist set up. Take your right hand behind the sacrum, reach up with the left arm. Exhale, turn to your right, and take that left elbow across or left hand across. Find your twist. It doesn't have to be a cranked up opening, so it's not like, like a wrench sensation. Use your breath. Inhale, find length in the spine, and then exhale, go a little bit deeper. That back hand is there to support you, like a second spine, making sure you don't collapse in the low back. Take another pulse, inhale length, exhale a little bit more depth. Give it one more breath. You can stay here for another breath or maybe you want to take the bind or half bind. So then more of a shoulder opener, soften in the jaw. Nice. Take one more breath. And gently, gently let that go. Take a counter twist to the left. And you can touch your forehead on the mat. Back to the center. And now walk your feet away from each other, sliding your feet away so that maybe the knees can stack. Reef situation yourself back on your sit bones. Gokasana. So your legs can be here. Again, you can also use the blanket here too. Or walk your feet a little bit further away from each other. You can also pull the heels closer to your seat. Let's have a look at the full Gomukasana in the bind in the arms. So right arm is on the right leg is on top, left arm comes up. Bend the elbow, take the hand underneath the neck, and take your right hand to the side. Turn the thumb down, bend the elbow. So you can circle it to the side and then down and back to create as much space in the shoulder joints. And take two over two, three over three, four over four. We can even use a strap or sock. And notice if you're sticking your ribcage out, if you're arcing, it's easier to take the bind. So, so you can take the bind and then knit the ribs in by the sit bones and press the back of the skull against the left forearm and vice versa gently spanning the left elbow to the ceiling right elbow down to the mat softening your face let's take two more breaths and gently gently letting that go and you shrug through the shoulders rolling it forward and back Switching sides, take the right leg at the bottom, or take easy seat to kasanana with the left leg in front. Take your double pigeon, Agni Stambhasana, taking the left ankle on top of the right knee, left knee on top of the right ankle. Find your sit bones. I'm going to this should be back a little bit. 
Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, tilting from the hips, leading with the heart. Finding your forward fold, pulsate. For my runners, this is a lot. <laughs> so sit with it, allow it, allow it, allow it to wash all over you. Notice if it makes you clench your jaw, hold your breath. Counterproductive, let that go, let that go. Use your breath particularly your ujjayi, particularly your exhales. That's where the release happens. You pulsate, come up a little bit in the cow spine, finding length. And then when you bow in, you can find your cat spine as you relax. One more breath. Now on the inhale, slowly come up. Take your time. And then just step that left foot on the out of the right thigh. Hug the right heel in. Setting yourself up. See the twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Take the left hand behind you. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, take it down for the twist to the left. Again, using the elbow or right hand. Knees in here. Rolling open. Inhale, length. Exhale, a little more depth. Making the twist come from the thoracic, the spine, not from the neck. Hands are there just to help you facilitate the twist. It comes from the spine and the core. Arms here are more like leverage. Stay here. You take the bind or half bind. Easy in the breath. Inhale in. center and then just slide the feet far far away from each other feel free to resituation yourself again finding your sit bones or slide the heels closer or take a blanket underneath that left knee let's take the shoulder opener right arm comes up take the right hand in the nape of the neck reach the left hand to the side thumb facing down and then circle and down and back Taking your grip. So I've been talking about the shoulder opener here, not saying a word about the super, super intense hip opener. So yes, go Mukasana. It's a very much internally a rotation uh, of the hips like this, which we rarely do. So it's a lot hitting muscles that we don't use in this way. So whatever comes up for you, Breathe through it. Don't hold, don't hold. I'm particularly feeling this in my right hip. I have a ten the tendency to create tension, hold myself up, hoping that I'm going to avoid tapping into that opening. It's not how it works. It actually adds tension and stress. So you gotta lean into it versus pushing away from it. The moment of discomfort and then the moment you do it, it subsides. It's like acknowledging the ghost and it disappears, leaves the room. Another breath. And gently release the bind, slowly, slowly. And gently take the feet, sole of the feet back on the mat. And I want to windshield wiper the legs here side to side. 
find the center of your mat. Slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. And hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Back bend of your choice, bridge pose, safety bendasana or wheel pose. You can take bridge pose first, hands by your side, press into the feet. You can place your hands underneath you, or take the hands by your ears, fingertips towards the feet. And come up into your Urdhva Dhanurasana, wheel, upward bow. Take about three breaths in either variation. You can lengthen through the arms in both. Sage Bandhasana, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Use your core to lift, soften the glutes a little bit. Nice, one more breath. And then slowly tuck the chin, slowly come down. And then you can windshield wipe the legs side to side. Hold the knees in. Give yourself a squeeze. And take the soles of your feet on the mat. Let the feet, sorry, the knees fall wide open. Take one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And stay here. Supta Baddha Konasana. If you feel like this, this should do it for you. If you want to take a supine twist, or perhaps a plow pose or shoulder stand, or maybe a headstand. That is a lunar pose for you. We'll walk you through headstand. Do it if you want to do what feels good, not what you think you should do. You're coming up. Into Shurshasana A, interlace your hands, pinky fingers in front of each other, part of the head. In that little cradle, tuck the toes, press into the forearms, walk the feet in. And you can hug one knee into the chest and then the other and stay here, never leaving the ground. Or slowly, so you can hug both knees in and float up. You can stay in the egg-like shape, never kicking up. I'm just going to stop talking for a few breaths, so whatever you're focusing on, you can focus on whether you're relaxing, you're safe to bend, sorry, Sutta Baddha Kandasana, Halasana, Plow, Shoulder Stand, Shamba, Saravagasana, maybe supine twist. Three breaths wherever you are. If you're twisting, to be on the other side. Soften the face. Nice. One more breath. If you're in any aversion, you can slowly lower down. If the breath be in control. For a moment, or stay in your Supta Baddha Konasana for your Shavasana, or lengthen out through the legs, let the feet turn out, hands by your sides. And just let it all course through you. Enjoying openness, open sensation in the shoulders, the hips, the heart. Just dwelling in this space of 
radiance, really, openness. Always feel after yoga practice, it's the opening of the lungs, the chest area. Makes you feel so alive. That's, I think, the whole point of going through all of that on the mat. To remind us what an incredible miracle really is that we're here alive, breathing. It's one of the things so likely to be taken for granted when it's perhaps likely the biggest miracle on earth. So perhaps taking a seed of that gratitude with you for the rest of your day. We know our ups and downs throughout our days, our weeks, our, our months, years. We come back to those little seeds of gratitude that we think are so small. Now yeah, put things back into perspective a little bit. At least lift our spirits in the moment. Because it's really the small things that matter so much. So taking this place of radiance, pure consciousness with you for the rest of your day, not leaving it here on the mat. And if the next inhale that comes around, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. And gently put some life back into your toes, your fingertips. And hug the knees into your chest. And roll onto your right side. A moment there, gathering yourself, your energy, your radiance, and come up to sit, finding a comfortable seated position. And as always, I kindly want to invite you to bow to your inner teacher, your inner light, the best guide and guru of them all. And feel free to join me in the closing om if you like. Deep inhale through the nose. Oh. Keep your thumbs to your third eye and Anjali Mudra, the inner light in me recognizes and honors the inner light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much. For joining me today, let me know if any questions.